hi guys and welcome back to my channel let's jump into today's download what i'm getting is in a world filled with kardashians be a lucy we're not regular we're not schmegular over here you guys already know so if you saw what i posted in the community tab in a world filled of kardashians be a lucy You guys know that you're out of this world. You constantly believe in the impossible. You are this magnetic force to be reckoned with. And as you build your character layer by layer, you're figuring out what that means to you. Everyone might expect you to do things a certain way, but you are extremely rebellious right now. Like think of a rebellious teenager. That is how you guys feel right now as you're trying to find your unique path and you're finding the way to be grounded in it. You're like, I know my path is unique. I absolutely positively know that my path is unique. But what does that mean to me? Who do I want that to be? And I feel like people are putting you in this box and they're like, oh, you can't be doing that. Oh, you can't, you can't do that that way. And you are breaking free. And it's almost like you're hormonal. You're like in this hormonal stage of I've got to do it my way. I don't care if I F it up the whole way. I can do bad all by myself. I can F it up all by myself. I don't really need anyone telling me how to do things. Some of you guys might be trying to figure out how to stay calm because you feel very explosive right now. People are pushing their ideologies on you, their beliefs on you, and you're like, I don't have time for that. I'm figuring out who I am. People are subliminally trying to push things on you, trying to project, well, ugh, I don't know, I would maybe do it this way, I would maybe do it that way, and you're like, I'm not here for that. Some of you guys are exploding, as a teenager would, because you are figuring out what you want, what you want your fairy tale to look like, what you want your character to look like, what you want your legacy to look like. So you are breaking free because everything else you were doing before was leading you down an insecure, broken road of no longevity and you're over it. So right now, you are gaining your independence. As I'm saying that fireworks are going off, you guys are gaining your independence. You are ready to destroy anything that gets in your way. Comment down below. I am finding myself. I am independent. I am strong-willed. People are wanting you to be impressionable, receptive, naive. It's not happening. You guys are learning how to reflect, take time alone, balance your chakras, meditate. You're taking breaks. You are doing things steady and slowly, but if people test you or poke too much, you're going to explode. You're not having it. You're not going to let anyone try to push their idea of who you should be. You're not going to let them do that. You guys are about to be very successful. You guys are about to gain a lot of wish fulfillment in building this character, building longevity, building your legacy. There's so much that you are taking on right now. You might be feeling like you have an information overload. You are learning how to be the empress. You guys have wish fulfillment coming in. Comment down below. I believe in the impossible. People are really impressed with how you do things, how organized you are. 
and the audacity for them to think that you are impressionable, insecure, or naive, they have the wrong fucking one. You guys are about to steamroll anything that gets in your way. Anyone trying to grab onto your chariot, they better hold on for dear freaking life. I'm going to say that again. Anyone trying to grab onto your chariot better hold on for dear life. This is like somebody telling you, oh, you can't get that car. No, I wouldn't buy that. I wouldn't get a pet. Oh, I wouldn't date him. Oh, I just, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't buy that purse. I wouldn't. Who asked them? Or all you think about is money. All you think about is securing the bag. All you think about is your love life or whatever it is. And there is no la, 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 la. You guys aren't covering your ears. You're like, you better watch your step. They better come correct. They better keep it at a level one, which is monotone. Whoever is speaking to you, they better keep it at a level one, which is monotone. Because there's two sides to you. There's really calm. And then there's like, boom goes the dynamite. Comment down below, boom goes the dynamite. You guys could be a life path seven, five, or nine, maybe even a six or four. Let me know in the comments. You guys could be seeing 555-777-444-222 or 111. You guys have a lot of passion and you're contemplating how to stay centered. You're taking a lot of time alone and you're realizing that you are the catalyst for change, but you're also aware that you have a short fuse at times. You are awakening to different abilities that you have. You guys are not going to let people bully you. So somebody is trying to give you guys something. Their um, opinion. Yeah, the opinion you did not ask for. <laughs> okay, I'm trying not to laugh. Somebody is trying to give you something. Their opinion or a contract. And maybe normally you would sign it right away or agree right away. And that is not going to be the case today. That is not going to be the case today. You're like, okay, yeah, send, send those documents over. Yeah, send that contract over. Yeah, let me think about it. They're like, wait, what? Yeah, let me think about it. Or somebody here is knowing their value, wanting to up the ante, and people being like, wait, what? Yeah, you gave me this. And I'm telling you I'm worth more. So let's drop a different agreement. People are taken aback by the fact that you know your worth. You guys could feel like a beginner. And even though you feel like a beginner, you still know your worth. And so people are kind of shocked. Like, well, you're new to this, so you shouldn't charge that. Or you're new to this, so you shouldn't ask for that. No. Comment down below. My time is valuable. I know my worth and I add tax. Duh. Okay, I know my worth and I add tax. You guys are doing your research and you're realizing this is like doing advertising for like not a lot of money. Okay, this is like doing advertising for not a lot of money when you know you're going to help them be more successful, more than other people. So if you know for a fact you're going to advertise for someone and you're going to get them more money than the next guy, though you're a beginner, you're just going to charge crumbs? I think not. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are taking the bull by the horns and saying, actually, I appreciate the offer, but this is what I'm charging. Or I'm going to need something a little bit better. Or mm, let me think about that. Let me get back to you. You guys are the money maker. Making money comes easy to you. And what you're realizing is where you're passionate and how to monetize that and bring 
longevity. That is what you guys are studying right now. How to build your character, your rainbows, your happily ever after, your magic. Comment down below. I am universal magic. I am out of this world. I am a Lucy. You feel me? You guys are not regular. You are not schmegular. You make anything you do look good. You guys want it to just be easier. You guys know how to make money. You guys know how to secure different things. But what you're working on is it becoming easier. You guys are reprogramming your subconscious to really make your subconscious believe you you are determined you are ambitious to tell your subconscious what time it is the seeker you guys know what you seek you're like i'm passionate i am a force to be reckoned with i know there's an easier way like you don't care if you have to brainwash yourself or be delusional for a minute or five you are ambitious right now you are ambitious to let go of codependencies you are ambitious to detach to know that you are the luckiest mother effer walking ambitious to know that you are unique in every way shape and form you guys keep things fresh you guys keep things fresh in a world filled with people doing it one way. In arenas that are flooded, industries that are flooded. You guys have an explosive blessing. You have miracles coming in. A jackpot, having plenty. This is what you're stepping towards. So I want to get some more information. I am getting that you are right to double check things. You are right to double check things that people are presenting to you. Because what they're presenting is I'm a groupie. I respect you. Blah, 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 blah. But they don't. You guys know right now who is yesing you to death. And you know who actually respects you. Because there's someone here that is telling you something but to get something from you. And it's coming through obsessed and shallow. And you're about to show them this is what I think of myself and what I'm worth. So this is what you're going to have to, you're going to have to come correct. It's like you guys aren't taking or accepting any fuckery at this time. You're really not. People need to tread lightly. You guys might normally be presenting yourself as the sweetheart. And this might be why people are so shocked right now. You're like, I'm not trying to be the boy next door. I'm not trying to be the girl next door. Yes, I am sweet. I am a healer. I'm a star messenger. Whatever you guys refer to yourself as. But the bad bitch, the bad boy in you is coming out. Swords and guns blazing. Comment down below. I am galactic even on my worst day. I am galactic even on my worst day. You're like, I don't want to be known as the sweetheart. That's the doormat. That's, it's hard for me to set boundaries. You're like, I don't want to be that. Nope. So what you guys seek is learning how to monetize your quirky style, your approach to love, your approach to life. People love the fact that you are both sides of the spectrum you guys keep people in suspense you guys are getting rid of negative influences right now somebody here has been <clears throat> 
Somebody here has been praying or manifesting better habits. And because you've been act because you've been actually working on different habits that you want to fix and change, like say you want to eat healthy, so you've been working towards that and now you're going to start working out. There's just different things that details in your life. Let's say six house vibes. Your like daily routines are changing. And because it is in your heart and you are a vibrational match to call that in, God, the divine, the universe is bringing you downloads, gems, and assistance. You guys have divine assistance coming in to help you with the other vices that you are needing strength in. Someone here is wanting to stop smoking, vaping, or drinking. And you guys have assistance and strength coming in. So even though people are going to see you, they're, people are going to start seeing you as the wild one, the wild child, the wild one. <laughs> but for real, for real, comment down below, baby, I'm a wild one. And even though people are going to be seeing you as that, you're going to be like the most spiritual, healthy person on the inside. You are just tapping into what makes you confident. Um, I'm seeing somebody here is buying lingerie. Somebody spicing things up. Somebody here is buying a new car. Someone here is looking at houses. I'm getting that whoever I'm speaking to, you guys might have issues with your neighbors no matter where you move. And that is because you guys really stick out. So somebody needs to hear that. You guys really glow. You really shine. So people are like, oh my gosh, what are they? Who are they? What are they? Who are they? There are a lot of people that think about you in a sexual way. And they don't tell you this. You guys have a lot of admirers. They fantasize about you. People could really like watching you work or even like grocery shop. Okay. Um, somebody here, you guys go to a grocery store and even the staff stares at you. Even the staff stares at you. You guys get stared at everywhere you go. You guys could be in a relationship. People are praying that you get divorced. Um, people really, yeah. There are people that want to marry you. There are people that want to wife you up. People look at you and even though you're wild, when they start to even talk to you in the slightest they automatically start seeing, oh my gosh, this person has the qualities of a good wife or a good husband. You are the person that everyone wants to marry. And people are also very drawn to you because right now you're retracting your energy. You're spending a lot of time alone, reflecting. And so people are really drawn to you right now. You're extremely magnetic at this time. The situationship. Someone here is maybe asking for the strength to get out of a situationship. Let me get more information on this. Hold on. Someone here doesn't know what they want. And they feel confused and stuck. So if you are feeling confused and stuck, it might be because you feel like you're settling and you're thinking about your independence. So even though you're in this situation, you might be realizing that you are very traditional. You're like, what am I doing? What am I doing? I do want my happily ever after. Maybe for a while you told yourself like, oh, I don't mind having a relationship this way. But whoever I'm speaking to, you are realizing that you are traditional in romance. You are traditional in romance. M maybe more than you would like to admit. 
you just haven't met the right person for whoever that is when you do meet the right person all those values that you deep deep down care about that person's also going to want as well so i'm seeing a union for someone coming in that's going to be meeting their soulmate interesting sugar daddy you guys are spoiled right now wow okay so this is what i'm getting you guys are always giving. Ooh, I have the chills. I'm so excited to tell you guys this. You guys normally give, 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 give. Like you feel like a giving machine. You're so over giving to people, buying people things. I feel like gift giving is your love language. And you're like, oh my gosh, I'm always giving. I'm always overdoing. I'm over. I'm not doing that shit anymore. You guys have a couple people coming in that are that you are destined to meet. You guys have a couple people coming in that you are destined to meet. So not only are you already spoiled by the divine, which is why you're able to give and give and give, you're retracting on how much you give because you want people to like you for you. And as I'm saying that I'm hearing a motorcycle, you guys have a couple people coming in that you are destined to meet, I feel like a friend or two or a soulmate and a friend. That is going to blow your mind. They're going to exceed your expectations. They're going to absolutely exceed your expectations. You guys might be needing to get out of your shell. So that's why you're going to be rewarded. Every time you step out step out of your shell, you're going to be rewarded. So even though you guys are staying in this mode of, I, I don't want to be bothered, I'm retracting my energy. If you do go where you are guided to go and you ask when you're guided to ask and you do when you're guided to do, and you will feel that intuitively. And you will immediately see why you were supposed to meet that person or you supposed to, or why you were supposed to drive to the store or why you were supposed to leave and go get that coffee. Whatever it is, you are feeling guided to make certain moves at this time. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. Because you will immediately get your confirmation of, okay, this is giving me anxiety but I'm going to trust, trust in God, trust in the divine, trust in the universe. And you're going to see that people are going to give more easily than this more stubborn people in your life that have been breadcrumbing you for a long time. There are people that care more about what they got and kind of like what's yours is mine and what's mine is mine type of energy. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you guys are not very trusting of people and that's probably why you're like, I don't need to go out. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to see people. And I'm not saying that you have to like go out and party or go to the bar, but I'm saying if you feel guided to, okay, let me give you guys an example. Say you're getting your hair done by somebody and for some reason you feel prompted to ask around. You feel prompted to look online, find a different stylist. There's going to be a reason you are supposed to meet that person and they're going to blow your mind. They're going to exceed your expectations. They're going to spoil you. Soulmate energy. You feel me? Soul tribe energy. Um, Say you were supposed to collaborate with one person and you feel like something's off. You're not sure what and you have a feeling to ask somebody else. They're going to exceed your expectations. Mind blown. You feel me? The bully. So this is telling me that the reason 
back to, all the way back to the download. The reason why you're being prompted is because you have a couple bullies. I think they're called covert bullies. I feel like they ghost you. They promise you things that they don't follow through on. They're dishonest. You guys are meant to shine. And for the bullies in your life, they want you to be a Kardashian. I mean, they don't even want you to be a Kardashian, but they just want you to be regular. They want, in, in regards to be insecure, wanting to be a Kardashian, wanting to be like that, but not anywhere near close to it. And because you will not dim your light, because you know that you are meant to shine, more of this is coming out of them. So I want you guys to understand that life is good because you guys are getting better at self-expression. And because you're getting better at it, people are like, oh my gosh, I thought they were just going to ask for a little bit. I thought that they were just going to do a little bit and they're just outshining me. So now they don't want to help you or they want to make you feel some type of way. They want you to be naive. They want you to be impressionable. And it's not freaking happening. You guys are going through a big renewal. You guys could be seeing snakes right now, owls right now, butterflies right now, unicorns, moths. You are going through a renewal. You're letting go of the bullies. You're about to, who going to check me, boo? You're about to check at least two of them. Their jaw is going to be on the freaking floor. I heard a motorcycle. Oh my gosh, you guys, I heard a motorcycle. You guys are about to blow some people's minds, but for real, for real. You guys have a couple of people that think that you're codependent on them. Okay, I'm trying to think of an example. Say you guys have somebody you're working with and they've been treating you like shit. And at first they didn't treat you like crap. They were really nice to you. And that could have been because you were down in the dumps, you were going through something, you're going through a depression, a funk, a sadness. And so they were like rocking with that, right? All of a sudden you get your you get your mojo back, you get your swag back. And they're like looking at you like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Then they start acting funny. So something within you is telling you to find somebody else to work with. And because you're going to do that and they don't even know that you're doing this yet and you're going to tell them the jaw drop is going to be nuclear. Comment down below. I am meant to shine. I am getting better and better and better at self-expression. These people are getting shade, more and more shady as you shine they're looking more like the shade lamp the more you look like the sun comment down below the more i embody sunshine the better i can point out the shade and i don't mean that in a judgmental way i mean like a false prophet false friend frenemy type shit people are starting to see that Whatever scheme they had going on, whatever agenda they had that they thought was great, then you came along and it made them feel bad about it for some reason instead of it inspiring them. So now some of these people are on the low sabotaging you, especially if they have the platform too. And you're looking and you're assessing and you're double checking. You're not assuming you are inspecting it all. You are inspecting it all. So people are like, oh my gosh, I didn't know they were really. Yeah, you've been looking. You've been assessing. You've been taking account. You've been taking stock of people that are acting funny, especially if it's costing you money. Especially if it's costing you money or anything to do with your reputation. No. Their jaw drop is going to be out of this world. They're not, they're, they, they're not going to see it coming. They don't see it coming. They're thinking that 
you're going to come through the same old person. Yeah, you want to come along? My chariot will be there in five minutes. No, if they try to grab onto this chariot, they're going to get dragged. God is your sugar daddy, okay? Not theirs. You feel me? And there are people that were slow playing you, wanting to use you, and they're thinking that you are their shortcut. They, um, it's almost like they got real lucky meeting you on a bad day when you were going through some stuff. When you were second guessing yourself, when you were doubting yourself. Now that you're coming up and out of that, now they're getting flaky. Now they're canceling plans. Now they're like, oh, I don't know if I can do that for you. I mean, I know that I promise, but oh, I'm just so sorry. They're full of shit and justice is here. They are full of shit and justice is here. So this I'm seeing is for whenever you watch this is happening this week. You guys are going to assess something. You're going to test something out at the beginning of the week. Okay, whoever I'm speaking to, there's something that you're going to test out at the beginning of the week. And by the time you finish assessing that test, you're going to address the bullies in the back, the haters in the back, the chuchalinis in the back. Like, hey, um, I know I promised that I was going to do this with you, but this is actually what we're going to do. There's something that you're going to back out of. That you are going to address this with them. This could be somebody that fights with everyone, but they try to hide this from you. Somebody here is trying to get your business or trying to get your money. And they think that they can hide the fact that they are as successful as they claim to be. Someone here is not as successful as they claim to be. Dang. Motorcycles. That is a big confirmation. Someone here is intimidated by your success and you're just a beginner. You're just a beginner and someone here has been at it. They might be hiding their experience from you so they can get your money. They might, they're, somebody is hiding things and I keep getting the signs that you are assessing because you feel like you got got. You feel like you got taken for a ride and you're starting to pull out from different people you've invested in because you're realizing that they're running a scam. They're not who they say they are. Comment down below, the eagle has landed. The macaroni is in the microwave. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I will move all obstacles in my way. Comment down below. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. It's going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. You guys are going to, they're going to be on the phone. Like they're addicted to how you take care of them, how you're generous because you're not a Kardashian, you're Lucy and they know that. But however they were supposed to help you, the truth is going to hurt and it's that dial tone click. It's a dial tone click. Fuck your little fake ass friends. Come around acting like they're your bro. Like, I see your little group text. Like, no. No, 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 no. They're at the top of the never list. They'll be never it. They're going to be like, oh my gosh. Lucy is such a beast. Oh my gosh. They were trying to stop you from being Lucy. You had a couple of friends that were supposed to be your support system, maybe new connections that you made, new, new people that you met that were supposed to help you on this glow up tour. They were supposed to help you ascend. So what is this? Because this is not the help that you were asking for. 
they um they got too comfortable and i'm quick to cut a becky off so don't get comfortable i cannot comment down below beast mode boom goes the dynamite i am the spiritual teacher you're about to teach them a very valuable lesson in taking advantage of people. Yeah, they got with you guys for money. Or they stayed with you guys for money. So they stayed in this connection for money to create a, a shortcut to make it seem like they're doing great when they're actually not. When they're actually not. Let's get some tea. To finish up, you guys are about to blow people away. Oh my gosh. No one is going to see this coming. It's like they knew. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see this at the bottom of this deck. They knew how loyal you were. Loyal to a fault. But they were causing obstacles. And now you're going to move all the obstacles. You guys have people you are destined and fated to meet this week. And I feel like you're going to meet the first person this week. Okay? I feel like you're going to meet one to three new people. And I feel like you're going to meet the first one this week. Loyal. They're going to, sh they're going to show you loyal and dedication. So it's like someone you're about to meet has like way more experience um, or they've, they've dealt with a lot of different things that are similar to you. You guys are instantly going to connect and it's going to show you that all these other people are fraudulent. That's what it's giving to me. You're, so you're getting rid of fake friends, bullies, situationships, fake spiritual teachers, anyone that fight, is constantly fighting with people. Or makes you constantly second guess yourself. Comment down below. Everything I do hits different. I am top tier. Duh. Oops. Everything you do is top tier. That's what you're going to start realizing. You want to know why it's top tier? Because you're passionate. And because you mean well. Because you're a good person. And this person wanted to be a little flaky flake with their breadcrumbs. And they wouldn't, when they met you guys, why they stayed with you, the situationship or whoever this is, it's because they were financially struggling and they did not tell you. They were faking it. They were faking it. They had their wallet on lock. Like, let me use your wallet. I don't like that. It's like if you've invested thousands with someone, hundreds with someone, and they can't buy you lunch every once in a while. Do you know what I mean? That This is the type of energy it's giving. And it's because you are Lucy. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. You feel me? Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Someone's being wishy-washy. You guys are about to call these people out. You're like, I'm not basic, I'm not vanilla, I'm not a Kardashian, I know how to take an L. I know my worth, I'm adding tax, can't tell me nothing. Yeah, you guys, they're about to be big mad. Whoever this is, they're about to be big mad. They might do something impulsive. So it's almost good because I feel like some of these people, maybe you don't know them as well as you think you do. So it's good that you're moving away. You're going to be brutally honest. And they're either going to take it or they're going to be upset. But you're going to show someone to their face like, hey, that's not how I do business. Or, hey, that's not... That's not cool with me. Sorry. You're going to start being more straightforward because you're what? You're getting your strength back. You guys are getting your strength back. You guys choose happiness. You're like, I've been triggered, been traumatized. I choose happiness now. I'm working on me. 
And yeah, you're coming out with a new persona. New me, who dis? Good riddance. You're healing. You're about to start deleting people and blocking people in your phone. Let's see if we got anything else. Come up. It's giving. Give me one more. Savage mode. Somebody's going to want revenge. It's not going to happen. Okay. Somebody is going to want revenge or payback because they feel like they're going to lose out on an opportunity or even more money, but they should have been they should have been keeping it 100 from Jump Street. They should have been keeping it 1000 from Jump Street, and instead, they chose to lie. And it's giving I do not approve of this BS. I do not approve of being lied to. And you're about to meet people that will meet your expectations without making it a big deal. And these people were constantly making it a big deal. You guys have relief coming in. You have people that you were destined to meet. Other people that also shine that aren't going to get mad at you for shining. Because you guys need a whole new situation of friends. But Spirit is saying you are going to have to go and do things when you're prompted to. You don't have to go out and like frolic in the street. But if you are prompted to go get a coffee, prompted to um, DM somebody, prompted to reach out or collaborate, that is what you're needing to do. And your mind will be blown. So I love that, love that, love that for you guys. Make sure you're talking to your angels or your guides because they are ready to divinely assist you. Let me know in the comments what angel numbers you guys are seeing right now and what's going on in the comments because, you know, I love reading your guys' comments. Don't forget to subscribe. I love when you guys become part of our soul tribe. I love how you guys help each other in the comments. That's beautiful. I feel like I'm I'm so incredibly lucky in that department on my channel. If you guys are looking for pick a card style ad free, that link is in the description box. Don't forget to smash the you know what, hit the bell, because otherwise you're going to miss out. I'd be posting sporadically. You guys already know. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.